Hello and welcome back to the Filling and Plays YouTube channel. By popular request on Reddit, this is going to be a quick build guide for my miniature Drake Kraken from the Star Citizen project. I understand that by using mods and console commands that you can build bigger, better ships, etc, etc. But for the sake of all our friends stuck on consoles, this build is done within the vanilla game parameters. The build will cost you between 5 to 600 k in credits, plus or minus however many unnecessary things you add to it, like I did. Throughout the process, you can obviously modify and refine this however you like. I'll try to hover the cursor over each part so you can see the data on each. Feel free to pause the video at any point if it helps you to plot out the build better. Some of these parts aren't always available from the same location as well, so you may have to use placeholders if you don't have access to everything. If you built an outpost with a large landing pad, you should be able to access most of the parts from there. So let's dig into this thing. In the interest of time, I dissected the ship in layers, but I would recommend that you try and connect the hab route to the cockpit first if you run into any problems. As always, we're going to start with the landing bay, which in this case is the Stroud Eklund Stability Pro Bay. Directly attached to that, we have a 1x1 one one companion way of your choice and the landing gear. I went with the Stroud Eklund Aculanders for the rear section of the ship because they have flippable configurations and Deimos 320CB landing gears for the length of the ship's belly. We also have a Deimos Skeg Alpha as the stem of the ship, which you may have to just set aside until the next level as well as two Sextant 10T cargo holds. Moving on to the next tier, we start out with a 3x1 hab of your choice, flanked by six Galleon S203 cargo holds. I usually like easy access to crafting tables, so I went with an infirmary and workshop with a single 1x1 one one piece for the midsection, and a Deimos Belly 4 making up the forepeak. There's plenty of real estate for weapons on this ship, but I went with two forward-facing turrets on this section, as well as Hope 55 gears for the winglets. On the port side of the ship, I added Stroud Engine Bracer Alphas with Deimos bumpers for fin accents. On the starboard side, it looks really cool to run Stormax cargo holds, but I started slapping shielded cargo pretty much anywhere I could. Next, we're going to add two Supernova 2000 engines, and you'll see that there's some additional real estate for shielded cargo on these as well. For the third level, it's really up to you how you fill up the space and which halves you use for the deck. Just be careful how they connect so that you don't get any errors connecting to the cockpit. For this version of the ship, we have a 2x2 battle stations, living quarters, brig, all in one berth, and a companionway or storeroom. I've not really found a satisfying way to make the bow of the Kraken within the vanilla parameters, but for this iteration I went with the Deimos hull alpha and braking engine. On the port side, we have Deimos wing ports in an attempt to get the geometry of the deck along with a rear-facing turret. On the starboard side, we have an additional rear-facing turret and Hope Tech cross braces with more bumper fins. For the aft of the ship, we're going to place our reactor, grav drive, and fuel. These really boil down to whatever you prefer have available to you. In this case, we have a J52 Gamma Drive, Theta Pinch Delta 9 Reactor, and 900T Helium Tank. On the port side, we have some additional weapon mounts with scan jammers and EMP suppressors. I also added some additional shielded cargo to look like thrust vectoring or exhaust flaps above the engines. On the starboard side, we have some additional 200cm shielded cargo. For some additional geometry, we have a Deimos Spine Echo Mounting, the Assurance SG-1800 shield generator. Next, we had a control station with some additional shielded cargo and structural cosmetics. Add one more one by one companionway with a docking collar of your choice. I also added an additional weapon mount with the Crimson Fleet conduction grid and a porthole on the starboard side. Add the cockpit, this can either be Stroud Eklund or Hope Tech, in this case Hope Tech Overseer 300 Bridge, and I threw the Crimson Fleet comp spike up there as well. The final touch is a series of Deimos spine mounts with forward-facing turrets of your choice. I also added additional scan jammers because why not? You can definitely min-max the turrets for DPS if you like. I went with a combination of ballistics for the video showcase because I much prefer Expanse vibes over Star Wars Star Trek laser pew pews. If you reach the end of the build and encounter this hugely frustrating unattached modules error. I recommend systematically deleting parts until you can isolate the offending components. Then control Z back to where you were and simply reattach the part. 90% of the time it ends up being something attached to the reactor grav drive or fuel tank. Well folks that is it for the Mark V miniature Drake Kraken build. I hope you all have fun with it and I'd love to see what alterations or variations you come up with. I will be attempting to do more accurate scale and geometry versions using mods and console commands in the future, as well as showcasing some of my other builds, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you around the verse.